previous session we have seen some examples and how this identity is applied. In this session, we will look at some common mistakes which occur while applying this identity. Let's look at the first mistake. Can you tell whether this equation is an identity or not? The easiest way to find it out is to try putting a number instead of x and y. For example, let us take x as 2 and y as 4. By doing this, LHS will be 6 multiplied by 11 which is equal to 66, while the RHS will be 19 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 95. We can see that the value of left hand side is not equal to right hand side. This means this equation is not true for x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. Therefore, this equation is not an identity. We know that an equation which is true for every value of the variable in it is called an identity. Let's move on to the next common mistake. What is the value of 107 square? In the previous session, we have learned how to find the square of such numbers. First, we'll write 107 as 100 plus 7. Then we will find the square of it. Many of us make mistakes while expanding it. We write 100 plus 7 square as 100 square plus 7 square. But this is incorrect. Remember that it is an identity. a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Therefore, by applying identity, we will expand 100 plus 7 square in this way. After simplification, we will get this as our final answer. So, we should always keep in mind that a plus b square is not equal to a square plus b square. Let's check out one more example. What is the value of x square plus y square, the whole square? Which option is right? Most of us think that the option A is correct. But this is an incorrect answer. While solving this, we think that x and y are already squared. So according to this identity, we write the answer as x square plus 2x square y square plus y square. But notice that here a should be x square but not x. Similarly, b should be y square but not y. As you can see here, we have not found the square of the first and second terms. So, the right hand side of this expression will actually be x square whole square plus 2x square y square plus y square whole square. Therefore, the correct answer will be x raised to 4 plus 2x square y square plus y raised to 4. In this session, we have seen some common mistakes which occur while applying this identity.